Hi, I'm Naveen Chahande. I'm born in Nagpur and I studied painting at Sir JJ School of Art and then printmaking in my masters from Faculty of Fine Arts and SU Baroda. This is my first solo exhibition at Clark House, Mumbai. And uh, the title of this show is I am the one who drew hair on the lion pillar. The title uh, I am the one who drew hair on the lion pillar is taken from famous Marathi poet called uh, Namdev Desar's poem. Uh, in his poem, he wrote, I am the one who drew hair on the lion pillar. And uh, next, uh, next line to, uh, to the poem is, Mohanjadaro is my property. So, when I was uh, reading these poems, uh, I find few similarities in his poem and few elements in my work. Uh, like in some of my work, I made Ashoka Pillar, Ashok Stambas, Stupas, uh, these kind of things. So, this line interests me and I started thinking about it. So, as a result of that, a uh, few more works came into mind and I made a Ashoka Pillar in the iron and then use a LED screen on that and the LED screen is showing I am the one who drew head on the lamp pillar. In this work there is a few elements which are vertical and uh, horizontal elements. So in vertical forms there is Ashok Stamba, next is Ashoka tree and uh, for similarity between these two elements is both uh, my name is begin with Ashoka, Ashoka Stamba and Ashoka tree. Second similarity is both the forms are vertical and uh, when I was in Bombay I used to see various uh, uh, commercial chimneys from uh, factories and uh, during that time that factories used to uh, demolish and uh, it is converted into the mall but uh, uh, with decoration and some renovation uh, owners of that places they kept uh, this chimney as it is and uh, they demolish uh, the mill and uh, it converted into malls. So I, I just kept uh, vertical elements one top of the other and try to create a one more vertical form and uh, in the same way uh, when I was doing this I was also thinking about some horizontal forms which is again horizontal uh, with our in information, what information we have about it, like one sleeping Buddha is always horizontal, one limousine car, uh, bridge from railway station, uh, train, which is a very big horizontal form. So my basic idea was to make a sculpture of these all elements, and each element I wanted to make in 20 feet high. So I was trying to do that work for a long time and uh, uh, it was very difficult because if I am making uh, these elements in large size then there is a problem of installation and uh, it is also too costly to create things. So that was in mind and uh, but I wanted to make that somehow so once I was uh, watching uh, John Millet's uh, work and uh, in one of his landscape he painted a huge uh, landscape uh, which has uh, lot of empty space so I realized uh, I felt if someone gave a, such a space like this to me so I can pay uh, install my work in that so this was uh, came in mind and after few months I just uh, thought ki, why not I will take space from John Millet and I will install my work in his space so I painted his landscape and uh, in his landscape I started installing or painting my elements in uh, this L shape, vertical and horizontal. I also paint a few, uh, some of his various works, uh, like uh, like this, this work is John Millet separate work. This is another separate work of John Millet, and uh, I gave space to that other works in uh, in the landscape and various places. I wanted to see this uh, sculpture from top view also, so I made a uh, bird view here, uh, this bird, this is the top view to see this sculpture. This work has image of round table conference and uh, when I came to know about round tables concept, uh, 
uh, when people are sitting on one round table and it has no corners so when uh, where various parties sitting on one round table there is no boss and no uh, less or more uh, parties or people so both the parties or people are sitting on one equal platform uh, is the concept concept of round table so when i come to know about the this uh, round table conference in my childhood uh, my teacher explained ki this is uh, related with the uh, freedom fight and uh, indian and britishers are sitting on one platform equal platform to discuss uh, indian india's uh, freedom things so uh, my observation was when i saw indians are sitting on uh, and britishers are sitting on uh, one round table conference in indians uh, there are people who are from upper caste and who uh, like uh, gandhi and uh, few other politicians and there is a uh, politicians uh, like uh, ambedkar is uh, from lower caste who is also sitting on uh, one equal platform with higher caste uh, in, uh, indians and uh, britishers on equal platform so this was my observation and uh, after few years i uh, understand ki the round table conference was not exactly related with freedom fight it is related with what uh, kind of uh, rights uh, from various communities in india will get after freedom like uh, right of vote and uh, right of reservation all these kind of uh, issues in the court bill all these kind of issues was uh, discussed uh, during round table conference so uh, before making this work uh, i was making few sculptures uh, which are geometrical shapes and round and which, which was take uh, two year project and uh, while making that i was observing ke uh, all these questions like uh, round table conferences there which is round in shape and uh, uh, another form is uh, indian parliament house which is also architecturally round so round round all these uh, round shapes interest me and i uh, was observing this uh, relation between two round forms so 